Okay, we're back for part four of more proofs in Young's geometry. This is another another quick proof. Uh, again, to review our axioms, axiom one says that there exists a line in the geometry. Axiom two says that each line in the geometry contains exactly three points. Axiom three says that no single line in the geometry contains all the points. Axiom four says that between any two distinct points there exists exactly one line. Axiom 5 says that given any point, any line, and any point not on that line, there exists exactly one line that contains that point that does not intersect with the given line. Proposition 1 said that given any point, there exists a line that does not contain that point. Axiom, or Proposition 2 said that given any point, there are at least four lines that do not contain that point. Uh, proposition 3 made that even better, said that there are, there are exactly four lines that contain that point. Axiom 4 says that given any line, there must be two lines that do not intersect that line. And axiom, or proposition number 5, terribly sorry if I keep saying axiom, proposition 5 says that there are exactly 12 lines. And proposition 6 says that uh, in Young's geometry there is a set of three lines that do not intersect each other. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the big idea here is, is of course to look at proposition four which seemed to say something really similar to this. Uh, you start with a line L and proposition four said that there were exactly two lines M1 and M2 that didn't intersect L. Um, and really the only... It didn't strictly prohibit these lines from intersecting. Um, and so Proposition 6 is only... Um, is only, you know, further, further noting that these two lines can't intersect. Okay? So... And the reason being, if they did intersect at some point, then then we then these are two different lines that don't intersect L that pass through this given point. And axiom five says that there must only be one such line that goes through that point. Okay, so here's our proof. Let L be a line in the geometry. <clears throat> by proposition 4 there exist two lines M1 and M2 that do not intersect L Okay, suppose M1 and M2 intersect each other. Then there exists some point on M1 and M2. Since neither one of these lines uh, intersects with L, that means that P is not on L. There must be exactly one line through P that does not intersect L. But both M1 and M2 do not intersect L. Uh, 
actually. That doesn't mean quite what I want it to mean. So let's cross out both and say neither M1 nor M2 intersect L. Okay. So now we have a set of three lines. L, M1, and M2. For which no line intersects any of the others. And we win. We have constructed a set. Notice, uh, just to uh, keep your attention for a little more, notice that the line L was perfectly arbitrary. Uh, this actually means that any line in the geometry in Young's geometry is in one of these sets. So, given any line in the geometry, you should be able to find two others um, that are mutually parallel.